I will be right back. Excuse me. Sister Mary Agnes really needs to use the lavatory. How long has it been? 17 minutes. There have been noises. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. Could you please finish up? Is this beyond your station, child? Would you like me to speak to the pilot? Thank you for taking me on such short notice. Of course, did you have the pictures of your daughter? Oh, yes, right here. Uh, oh, she's so young. Well, she looks young, but she's not. She's a smart girl. I just want to get to her before she moves again. I, I don't want to lose my daughter. I don't know what made her so upset that she decided to run away. Well, that could be for many reasons. But before I take on this case, I want you to know that there are no guarantees that I will find your daughter but I will do my best. Well, you were recommended by a close friend. I trust you to get this done. Ashley? Are you all right? Honey, you don't have to do this. He's dead, he can't hurt you anymore. Honey, please don't touch me. Honey, I can build a new life for us. I'm begging you. It's too late. No, please. please. I am consumed by love. The sun is always shining when I'm with you. You're the flame in my heart, and I promise to be true to you. I am yours. I cannot live without you. I love you. Well, I was speechless, and he looked into my eyes, and he said, count them. Overall, it's important for Rena, and for all my patients, to trust me enough to share concerns or issues right up front. My goal is to make sure that Rena is feeling relaxed and comfortable. Have you eaten lunch yet? Eaten? I just opened my eyes. I'm not even thinking about eating. Well, that's the Oxycontin. What is? No appetite. It zaps it. Don't worry, it'll come back. I hope not. I'm gonna try out of here, younger and fatter. Oh, come on, Rosie. You're beautiful. It's been a long time since a man told me that. Oh, I gotta head to the store because I actually do have an appetite. <laughs> you sure I can't get you anything? 